Hello and welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. If you're new to the channel, we do hi-fi home cinema based content exclusively. We do reviews, technical stuff. We do loads of show visits uh, and all sorts of stuff. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Now this is the follow on video to the one we posted yesterday when we were looking at isolation products and specifically looking at the Gaia's, the ISO Acoustics Gaia's uh, and, and another product from, from Plinth Design. Now, you know, I did a little unboxing and a little look at these, but what I think is really important is to have a closer look uh, at the installation process. It's actually quite simple, but you know, I've been messing around with it for a couple of hours, installing them underneath these uh, uh, Atacamera Apollo Cyclone 6 speaker stands. And it was actually fiddling, it had me beat actually for a little while. And it's, it's easy, but we need to align the, the isolators perfectly. So what I'm gonna do in this video is have a closer look and do an explanation you know, through the installation process. Hopefully that'll be useful because when it comes to the time where you want to put these under your speakers, if you can pull your speakers out and put them under them and put them back, that'll be better. But if you're anything like me, you've got those speakers in the perfect position and we're looking at adding the ice acoustic guys to improve those. And the last thing we really want to do is have to kind of fine tune our position. Now what might be interesting, you might find that you install these and you might want to fine tune the speaker placement anyway, but just in case you don't, just in case you've got those speakers in the perfect position the more prepared we are for the installation of these I think the better now obviously I installed them as I mentioned on these um, really lovely Atacama Apollo Cyclone 6 speaker stands and what really surprised me is just how nice they are look how nice they look it actually really sets off this speaker stand I think they're absolutely lovely uh, products and as I mentioned before we've got this really nice packaging Now, what I didn't show you in the other video is because I didn't realize is that when we open these up, so we see take the lid, take our lid off. This one doesn't want to come off. <laughs> come on. There we go. Oh. Right then, so we've got our instructions and we've got our four ice acoustic guides inside. And what I didn't realize is these, this comes out and beneath we have a series of obviously connectors or bolts or threads. We've got M4, we've got M8, quarter inch and M6. And then we've got some locking nuts, which are really important. So what's wonderful is that that bit of cardboard there shows us exactly what, what is what. It's just it's a really useful thing. And then we take that out and then we've got all the things that we need to install the guys. And I didn't show that in the last video because I didn't actually realize until today. And again, the easiest way to get these out is to take these out of the packaging. And again, really nice packaging, really well done ISO acoustics. It's just it's just really simple, but sometimes the simple things are the best. So I really like this, they've done a great job. Guys, so guys are already installed, obviously on these speaker stands, and the important thing is to pay attention to is at the front, we've got the ISO acoustics logo and it actually says Gaia beneath it, which is actually really nice, a nice touch. You don't notice that till you get up close. That's a really lovely touch visually. But it's important to either keep the ISO acoustics facing forwards or we can actually have them with the ISO acoustics facing backwards. Now this is where the challenge comes in because it's thread, a thread orientated system. And where I was having some issues, it's just getting all the guys lined up the same way. Now, most people, well not everybody, but some audio files are very OCD and it will look much nicer if you have all the ISO acoustics logos facing the same way. I mean some people will be happy to have the front ones facing forwards and as long as they're 180 degrees, i.e. the ISO acoustic logo faces directly backwards, they work just the same. Obviously it's that obviously forward and backwards motion which is how you know what what the what the design's all about. But you know, for me, I want all the really want all the ISO acoustics logos facing the same way. So that's what we're going to look at now. The installation process. It is very simple, but it never hurts to be prepared. And this is our other speaker stand. We've still got the spikes that came with it included. So sensibly, the first thing we need to do is just remove the spikes. Now, obviously, these Atacama uh, Apollo Cyclone Six stands are really easy to work with. So it's just a basic screw system. And we just literally unscrew them and remove them. So that's that's you know a very easy stage. The next thing to do is to check. Well, we should have done this up front, really, but we need to obviously check what thread size that the, that the stand takes or the speakers take, and make sure we use the correct adapter or the correct thread adapter from our set here. Now I know that these take eight mil. So we're going to use the 8mm ones. And if you remember, 
we've got our chart so we know these ones here obviously are eight mils actually that's the wrong one edit that bit out it's the bottom ones he's a he's a six mil not eight mil apologies edit that one out right so we just quickly check that it's correct yeah that's the correct one so this is the important part we take our correct thread out of the foam that it comes in with one of the locking nuts what we actually need to do we actually need to remove the nut that's on it and replace that with the alternative nut now what will happen is you'll look at them and you'll have one which has got a smaller hole and one that has got a bigger hole now the bigger hole is designed to butt up close to the guyer so we take it out we remove the one that's on it put the other one on first and then put that one back on so explain that better again start again so this is how it comes in the packet we remove remove the nut that's on it but keep it obviously then we put one of the other nuts the m8 nuts put that on there first and then replace the nut that comes on it out of the packet hopefully that is explained clearly enough so then we take one of our guyers we've got a thin end and a fat end and we screw the fat end screw the fat end into the guyer now you'll see that it's actually got a section for our spanner so we use the small end of the spanner just to tighten it up into the guyer so it's nice and tight so that's very simple and easy so far so that's nice and tight so now we screw we push our bolts down and this this is the tricky easy but tricky part obviously we just literally screw it in now what we need to do we need to make sure that we align we need to align obviously the speaker stand in this instance with so we need to align the ISO acoustics logo to face front now obviously as I've tightened that up the ISO acoustics logo is facing kind of that area so what we do we use our locking nut so we separate the two nuts so this is where it's tricky see we separate the two bolts sorry one needs to be tight to the guyer and one needs to be closer We need to do enough turns and then we tighten it's really hard to explain so if you imagine we've got a bolt near the stand and a bolt near the guyer the bolt near the guyer needs to be tight and what we do we turn the turn and turn and turn the guyer until it's nearly all the way in and then as it depends on how it all marries up you're probably going to need to leave a little bit of a gap between the top bolt and the bottom bolt and ha as we get near fully tight we tighten up the top bolt which is the one that will be closest to the speaker stand or in this instance yeah the speaker stand or the speaker we tighten that up and that then tightens the overall situation up so, it's so this is the bit that's tricky this is the bit that's fiddly now most people probably won't have any problems with it but that is how we do it so you'll see we've got a slight gap but this is now nice and tight obviously I'll bring the camera over to show you so what we've got we've got that is obviously the bolt that tightens to the guyer and that there is the bolt that tightens to this now this is the bit we need to make sure we get this get the main guy are screwed in as close as we can to our speaker stand before we tighten up the top bolt and now this obviously is nice and tight we've got a slight gap but now obviously we've got to pay attention to get that gap roughly the same for every single one of this, every single guy that we install and that is obviously how we'll level our speakers after or our speaker stands after okay this, this is <laughs> just an attempt to show you a second one with a little bit close a little bit closer up so remember we take 
we'll take our adapter out we remove the bolt that's on it put the other bolt on first put the original bolt back on screw back into our screw into a Gaia finger tight then use the spanner to fully tighten up into the Gaia itself that's it nice and tight now this is the tricky part so hopefully you can see difficult to film it actually and show so so this is our basic two bolts so the bottom bolt we screw up tight to the Gaia and this is the bolt so the bottom bolt we should get that in focus okay then right the bottom bolt we screw up tight to the Gaia trying to get this in focus it's difficult so there's our ISO acoustics logo I don't know if you can see that Gaia 2 underneath there it's a really lovely touch so that one screws up tight to the Gaia itself and this is the one that we've got play with in order to tighten up the screw but make sure ISO acoustics is facing forward so hopefully you'll be able to see that me see me do it if I can stay out of the way so so we just screw tight Right, so if I tighten that one up, well, actually that one lines up perfectly, but then we've got a, a, a different distance here. So let's see if I can turn this around a little bit without breaking everything. There we go. So on this isolate, we've got, a, I don't know, a two or three mil gap. But on this one, it, it's really tight. So what we do, we loosen off a little bit, use our top bolt, extend it up a bit, screw the whole lot back in tighten up the top bolt with your fingers it's quite this is the tricky part really getting that tight enough so then everything tightens up around it so now we've got roughly the same distance it could do have been a little bit more than that so loosen off get a bit closer tighten up So, so hopefully that's helped a little bit in terms of you know a little bit of preparation. If you're considering buying, obviously the guys, uh, yeah. What my advice would be is when you get them, you know, take them out of the box, take your time and have a little think about what you're doing. Most people are probably not going to have the luxury of having some spare speakers or spare speaker stands kicking around to have a little mess around. But I'd say definitely take your time. If you're going to leave the speakers where they are and you're going to plan to tilt them back and stuff like that, make sure you've got at least one person there to help you because it might take you a little bit of time fine tuning and making sure we get the speakers level once we've installed the guys and stuff. But I'll definitely say take your time, have a little look at how it works because it's quite a simple process but it might take you a, you know, a minute to get your head around it or you might just crack it straight away me it took me a you know a good few minutes to get my head around it and understand it exactly what i was going to do and the bit that caught me out was because it comes with two bolts now when you look at the bolts one of them's got a bigger hole one of them's got a smaller hole now the bigger hole is not attached to your thread so remember you need to remove the the bolt that comes with the thread put the the bolt that's on its own with the bigger hole they're exactly the same size there's only the hole that's different that needs to go on first and tighten up to the guy then we put the first bolt that's attached to the thread back on it and then you'll see then that the the thread one of the bolts tightens up lovely and tight to the guy now the bit that was catching me out was i was trying to tighten the bolt up and it wasn't tightening up to the guy and i was scratching my head that is if you've done that that means you've used obviously the wrong bolt closest to the guy i want you when you use the correct bolt it will tighten up lovely and tight that's the reason for the bigger hole it can over go over the, the, you'll see it when you, it's a bit there you'll see it, it goes over it and it will tighten up nice and tight now the tricky bit is now oh, you've got quite fat fingers and stuff but trying to get your fingers in and tighten up the the bolt that tightens to the speaker stands that's that's the tricky bit but and that's the bit that's hard to get your head around how that even works but once that's tight against the speaker stands the whole guy turns much tighter so that's something to pay attention to. Think about gaps and distances. Now, I'd suggest if you can get the guys flush up against the speaker stands or the feet or whatever you're going to be using, that'll be best. But what might happen is you'll have that last one that just doesn't want to do it, and then you'll have to change them all and leave a tiny little bit of gap so that they're all exactly the same. Because that's what we want. Obviously, we want symmetry, and obviously, we want the speakers to sit level. So I hope this video has been helpful. 
you know, please visit our website and you know, smash that thumbs up like button if you enjoyed this video. Now, what just to explain what I'm going to do to do these things properly because I've got a different amplifier in for review. And what we need to do is a lot of recordings with the system as it is. So then we can then add the guys and listen to the difference that it, that it will make. Now, all that's going to take me quite a bit of time because there's lots to go through and lots to do. But it also means there's going to be loads of great content coming up. Also, I've got more Bristol Show video that I want to get out because I want to, want to, want to get that finished. I've got some real gems that I still haven't had the time to, to put together and put out. So what I'm going to try and do is Bristol Show videos next and then all the Gaia isolation stuff. We've got a new amplifier, another amplifier here from Luxman, which obviously the review and all the details of song demonstration video is going to be coming for that. Then we need to be adding these guys to the Kef reference. I can't wait, obviously, to hear that. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was useful. These look beautiful, don't they? I can't wait to get these installed. Smash that thumbs up button. Visit our website. Don't forget, you can also become a member of a Patreon and help us and support us to bring you far more better content and more of it. So I hope you're enjoying what we're doing and I'll be seeing you soon.